Hello and welcome to the Lagos Transportation Agenda. This is Austin Yang, and as usual, this is your favorite transportation show where we showcase current events in, and topical issues as well as current and emerging trends in the dynamic world of transportation. Today, members of the public drawn across all sections of the Lagos mega city and across Lagos state, in fact, are going on a test run ride on the newly commissioned Blue Line rail system from the terminal here in Marina to mile two and back. I invite you to come with us. Great economies are built on good transportation network. This is why Lagos State Government through LAMATA has been working tirelessly to enhance the state's transport infrastructure and implement the Strategic Transport Master Plan, STMP, for Lagos and create a world-class transport network for the metropolis. The STMP would deliver six rail lines, one monorail, 14 BRT routes, 26 water transport routes, three cable car routes, and several road interventions to promote the integration of the transport modes. When all these projects are completed, there will be lower emission, leading to better health for all, lower road crashes, better quality of life, and faster economic growth. With the BRT already running in some corridors, jetties being upgraded and rail line from Okokomaiko to CMS coming on board soon. Life of Logosians and the face of Lagos is changing every day. A healthier and more prosperous Lagos is in the making, and La Mata is driving it. La Mata, keeping Lagos moving. So with regard to operations of the Blue Line in particular, we all know that we have publicized that the Blue Line is going to be an electrified rail system and with the third rail system. What that means is that the electrification will be along the track. And for us, that means that it has no tolerance. If you want to cross from one side to the other, you must, must use the overhead bridges. This is a necessity for all of us to understand we have, as, as a government, been very responsible and we have fenced all along the alignment for the blue line to ensure that people do not cross it. But what we see time and time again is that people go there and they cut the fences and they run across. This is fine until we electrify. And we need to understand that this is not acceptable. Not because Lamata is saying don't do it, but because it is a matter of life and death. It is a health and safety issue. Anywhere in the world, this is the way it functions. And if we want to develop, we need to begin to understand that this is the way we're headed for a sustainable rail system that is good for emissions. Electrified rail is the way forward. And when your rail is electrified, then we must not interface with it. So we ask this and we ask that the people be responsible and understand that it is mandatory that nobody crosses the tracks. We bother to put pedestrian crossings, there's access for the physically challenged and therefore we have no reason to cross the track. So we just ask that the people please respect this and respect the rails because if we don't we will find ourselves in very very dire straits indeed. La Mata, keeping Lagos moving. As you can see around the whole terminal, it's a full house and participants in this first test run ride of the Lagos Blue Line Rail System are drawn from a, the entire cross section of the population of Lagos Metropolis, including these school children, uh, secondary school stu uh, students from ac across Lagos. And they are all expectant and excited to be part of this inaugural ride from a terminal here in mile two in, uh, in in marina to mile two and back <laughs> So 
So the first uh, uh, train set for this test run uh, ride across town on the Blue Line rail system is about to depart the marina station on its way to mile two. The Lagos Blue Line rail system is able, has the capacity to process about 250,000 passengers per day as we heard during the commissioning ceremony. And this is the beginning of the journey towards the Lagos Multimodal Integrated Transportation System uh, of the future. The future starts now. So you are witnessing history. Come with us and let's see how this goes. We just left. The next station is uh, National Theatre, and then after we get to Igombu, Alaba, then to my two. Um, it is the first 13 kilometers of the 27 kilometer rail route. Um, for the first 13 kilometers, almost uh, a half of it is elevated from Orile up to National, up to Marina. And as you go along, look at the way the bridge, the bridge has, has been constructed. Um, the bridge actually overflew some other bridges. So the only set of it is to have a good separation, that there is no interaction between um, vehicular traffic and the train. And the train is going to be powered by electric electricity from three levels. We are going to rely on eco-electric, and you may want to say that, oh, why eco-electric? Because um, of the power system in Nigeria. We have also factored other levels of electricity. We have uh, an IPP, and also we also have a UPS system, such that when there is outage, power outage on the national grid, um, the UPS system kicks in, you will not feel anything. The train will continue to move. And thereafter, the IPP will start in, and then the UPS system will go to rest. But we rest assured that everything about making this rail functional has been thought of and has been implemented. But we rest assured that your security and, and safety have been factored. Underneath your seat, there are fire extinguishers. There are train marshals on the train. All over Nigeria, there's apprehension about rail operation. This rail has what is called a broken rail device. If there's any compromise on the tracks, the system will pick it up. Um, I think safety, We one thing we say in Lamata is that safety is a living situation. You always revisit and review. So from, uh, from Lamata's perspective, we have um, CCTV along the track. We have CCTV within the stations, even the trains. We have um, a broken rail detection system that says that if a rail is broken, the train will be notified and it will stop before it gets there to prevent a, a, a derailment. So this system is completely uh, segregated from traffic. So we have no crossings. 
The only crossings we have are pedestrian crossings that are overpasses. So for us, we've ensured that there is no vehicular interface, there is no pedestrian interface, because we have fenced the whole alignment all the way. See, we are on the ride and very soon we'll be getting to our destination at mile two and then making our way back to the marina station where we started as you can see from the behind me and all around me the the, oh, the passengers here are very excited they know that they are part of history they're witnessing something uh, different and this is the future lagos that we are witnessing so a railway is very different from a road you have to ensure that your interfaces work well, your processes work well, your procedures work well. So what we're doing is trialing and testing out those processes with regular people, with passengers, but not fee paying. It's also that we ensure that the people understand the system. If we all know, rail is not something that is common to us now, especially not in metro. All of us have seen the intercity, but this is an intercity system. The system is very different. It is a quick one for us. It is about processing as many people as possible to get onto the trains. So it is also ensuring that people understand how to utilize it. You saw how we told you what to do with the carry card and all of that getting. When you get onto the train, is also to know that there is a way you must always all enter and until the last person is off the platform, there will be. But also ensure that you not only uh, get on the train, but the trains follow a timetable. So if the train says we're moving at 10.30, that will happen. And if you miss it, you miss it, you'll just have to wait. So those things are ensuring that the people understand. We also see that our systems work and then and only then we will be ready to have commercials because we don't want incidents and accidents on our rail system. From the beginning of the line, what is the frequency of my system, of the trains. So for now, because we have three train sets, we're going to run one train every three, 20 minutes. And when we do that, that will only occur in the peak periods. After peak, we may reduce it to just two because it must respond to demand. And obviously the more trains we bring on, we would have seen the demand and we will respond to demand on that, uh, in that light. But what I need you to understand is that this rail system is designed for a headway of three minutes. So the signaling system that will be here will allow a train to run every three minutes, so long as there is a demand for it. I'm sure that the, the Lagos rail system, the present blue line and the coming red line, will be a major attraction for the citizens of this city as we look forward to uh, seeing transportation in general traffic management in particular as a major catalyst to the Greater Lagos Initiative that the government of Babajide Olushola Samuolo has taken to this very level, following from the effort of successive governments since 1999. Yadigo, you know says this road fine. Don't post something there. Uh -huh. We going up, we going up, we going up higher. A greater Lagos, a greater Lagos, yeah. Follow the rules, keep it clean. And I swear you said go love, love Lagos. A greater Lagos, yeah.
great economies are built on good transportation network. This is why Lagos State Government through LAMATA has been working tirelessly to enhance the state's transport infrastructure and implement the Strategic Transport Master Plan, STMP, for Lagos and create a world-class transport network for the metropolis. The STMP would deliver six rail lines, one monorail, 14 BRT routes, 26 water transport routes, three cable car routes, and several road interventions to promote the integration of the transport modes. When all these projects are completed, there will be lower emission, leading to better health for all, lower road crashes, better quality of life, and faster economic growth. With the BRT already running in some corridors, jetties being upgraded and rail line from Okokomaiko to CMS coming on board soon. Life of Logosians in the face of Lagos is changing every day. A healthier and more prosperous Lagos is in the making, and La Mata is driving it. La Mata, keeping Lagos moving. Among the many passengers on this inaugural uh, test ride of the Lagos Blue Line Rail System is a large delegation from the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSE Lagos branch, led by its chairman, Engineer Adekunle Bello. Uh, Engineer Bello, uh, well, let me congratulate you on this inaugural ride. Welcome, yeah, and what? Give me uh, your impressions on this particular ride. What's been your experience so far? It has been a very, very impressive outing today, and I believe Governor Sawolu and his team they are working. The master plan drew up years back. It's a very good initiative, but it, that was done at the time of the president elect. Ashwa Jubala met Tinumbu for Lagos. If Lagos works perfectly, Nigeria will work perfectly. Whatever works in this state will work in this country. And I must commend Governor Sawolu and his team for an impressive performance within the first four years. And we believe that the next four years will surpass the previous four years. Thank you. What what future do you see for the rail industry in Nigeria? We, we've been advocating for a multimodal transportation system. And I think uh, this is part of it. A multimodal in the sense that, you see, even though if we widen the road, 10, 10 lane, it cannot take us. We need a multimodal system of transportation. You take the road, you take the rail, you take the water. It's, it has to be all encompassing. It has to be integrated together. And I think uh, I must commend the governor of Lagos State. They are doing that. Because I could see that we have the road terminating at this. Then if you want to go to Takwa Bay, you could use the waterways to Takwa Bay. It's a commendable effort. And I think uh, the governor and the team could do more for us in Lagos State. I am a student of Girls Senior Secondary Grammar School, Ikoi. And I am here at the um, railway. The, my experience so far in this journey was nice, interesting. Like when you use the normal road, you take about one hour together with the traffic, heat, everything. Like it's not conducive. But with this train, it took us less than 24 minutes to get to where we're going and 24 minutes back. And it was very interesting and lively. What I want to say to Mr. Governor is that he did well, kudos to him, and we can do better. Thank you. My experience far was nice. Actually, it's my first time being in a train. I never feel lively like this. I'm grateful to the government for giving us the opportunity to be in a train. Thank you. So uh, I just finished uh, experiencing the Blue Line wheel, and uh, my take on it is that it was a really great experience uh, life uh, the one I will remember for life so imagine the convenience for people that work in, Mar in Marina and stay in my two the fact that they can get from their place of work to 
home in less than 30 minutes uh i'm sure that is will be life-changing for some people and how smooth it was uh the train was smooth you you don't know when you uh, are climbing uh, a bridge or when you land you don't know at all only when you breathe that way you know that oh i've actually, I've actually gotten to my location because it was so smooth and i would actually like to thank uh governor song for this uh for this uh train because it will be life-changing for some people and about this train ride we just had like right now and i want to say a good job to the engineers for making it fully electric and it's actually pretty much carbon free so it's eco-friendly and it's fast so i want to say a big thank you to mr Songulu for giving us this experience and be god bless him and you should keep up the good work thank you uh i want to share my experience uh, on the blue ryan ring uh, it's an interesting one it's uh i'm happy i participated i was involved in the travel today and it's nice uh, to see that i could travel in lagos without any stress uh, this, the journey was very short. Within a short period, I was able to move from Marina to Orile, and it was a nice one, uh, very comfortable, the neat environment, and it's very lovely. And I will want the government to do more of this. Uh, they should do more of the lines to cut across the states because this will really ease the stress uh, where the Goshans go through on daily basis. Thank you. Been a memorable and historic day in the annals of transportation in Lagos State and Nigeria as a whole, with the in inaugural test run uh, ride of the Blue Line uh, system from the Marina Terminal where we are now to the Mile Two Terminal and back. It featured a cool cross section of passengers from students to uh, professional engineers, members of the general public. It's part of the uh, program of activities uh, prior to the full commencement of operations of the line as promised by the government uh, during the commissioning ceremony. So that has been the show on this edition of the Lagos Transportation Agenda. Join me next week for yet another very interesting edition of the show. This is Austin Ian saying bye for now. Great economies are built on good transportation network. This is why Lagos State Government through LAMATA has been working tirelessly to enhance the state's transport infrastructure and implement the Strategic Transport Master Plan, STMP, for Lagos and create a world-class transport network for the metropolis. The STMP would deliver six rail lines, one monorail, 14 BRT routes, 26 water transport routes, three cable car routes, and several road interventions to promote the inter of the transport modes. When all these projects are completed, there will be lower emission, leading to better health for all, lower road crashes, better quality of life, and faster economic growth. With the BRT already running in some corridors, jetties being upgraded and rail line from Okokomaiko to CMS coming on board soon. Life of Logosians in the face of Lagos is changing every day. A healthier and more prosperous Lagos is in the making, and La Mata is driving it. La Mata, keeping Lagos moving.